So here it is guys. The coolest Alfa Romeo Stelvio we have on the lot right now. This is the new 2019 Alfa Romeo Stelvio Sport. And it has the Nero Edizioni package and it's the rear wheel drive model. This is the first RWD model for 2019 that we have gotten on our lot. Now for 2018, Alfa Romeo's came with the Q4 system, which is a smart all wheel drive system. But now for 2019, we have real wheel drive Alfa Romeo Stelvio. So I'm gonna take this for a drive today and let you guys see what it's like to drive a rear wheel drive Stelvio. First, let's talk about this Alfa Romeo Stelvio and its specs. It is Alfa Red with Rosso interior. So you're seeing straight through that window, the red interior. So with the Rosso Red, this is Alfa Romeo's Gloss Red. You can also do Alfa Romeo's and Rosso Competizione Red, which is actually more of a tri-coat red. This also has the Netto Edizione package, which is our first 2019 model with the Netto Edizione package because they did not come out with that package for 2018, and that is a black package. So what you're looking at is you're looking at the front grille done in a dark meat on finish. You're looking at the side mirrors done in a dark meat on finish. You also have the gloss black wheels to go along with that package. Now with any Alfa Romeo Sport, you're gonna get the gloss black window motor surround and the gloss black roof rails as well. So you get both of those packages just for it being a sport. If you go to the back, what you're gonna see is the dark badging as well for the Neto Edizione package, the black package. And then once you go down to the rear diffuser and the exhaust, you're gonna see the exhaust done in gloss black and the rear diffuser, which is normally done in a silver aluminum finish. So it's a great looking package for this car. The red and black looks just looks amazing. Now, if you did a sunroof or the panoramic roof, which is a $1,350 option, you'd also have the roof and antenna done in black as well. That might be a really good look as well, but I think it does do a good offset with the black here, red here, black here, red here. I think it's a nice little transition between the colors, especially with the mirrors being black too. But what do you guys think right off the bat? Checking out some of the options in this Stelvio, you're looking at the big paddle shifters, big Italian paddle shifters to go in the steering wheel. You're also looking at the aluminum pedals down at the bottom there. You do have the aluminum trim contrasting on the door and right along the dash here. Also along your shifter as well in the center console. Now you do have the 8.8 .8 inch screen upgrade with this. You can do the 6.5 inch screen. You get stuff like Apple CarPlay and Google Android Auto standard with this car. So you do get the static driver assistance package with this specific vehicle as well. That includes your blind spot assist, your cross path detection, your front sensors, and your auto dimming exterior mirrors. You can also get the dynamic driver assistance package which would have stuff like your lane keep assist, have stuff like your four collision warning, your adaptive cruise control, things like that. But this one is equipped with a static package. In the back of the 2019 Stelvio, much hasn't changed. Alfa Romeo did add the option to add rear heated seats. This does not currently have that option, but you can have that option now for the 2019 models. You can also have the sport seat option, which is not equipped in this model as well. These are the standard seats. You have the standard seats in the rear, and up front. You can fold down all three seats. You have partition on the passenger side, a middle partition, and a right side driver side partition. And you can fold them down from the rear in the boot, or you can fold them down right here from this lever on each side. If you wanted to do just the middle seat, you can fold it down by reaching here and unlocking it there. Same amount of space in the back of the Stelvio. 55.6 cubic feet of space. And now you'll see those partitions for the rear seats to fold down. You also have your privacy shade here to cover up everything for you. Underneath, a lot of people always ask, is there a spare? There's not. These are run flat tires that the Stelvio comes with. Now it's all about weight distribution. So you're gonna see your battery tucked away underneath, help out with that 50-50 weight distribution. And if you wanna fold down those rear seats, 
You have your latch on your passenger side and your latch here on your driver's side to do the left and right hand seats. You do have to reach over this to fold down the middle seat here. The cargo package, which I believe is $300, does have the roof rails that would attach here and it has the cargo net to go along with it to hold down any kind of cargo you might have, luggage or anything that may be a loose item. So you would add those cargo rails there and then the cargo net as well for that convenience package. This one is not equipped with it, which is why you see the blank here. Focusing on a 20 inch sport wheel, you do have your Brembo brakes, red calipers with white script. Here you have a different kind of tire. You have a Continental tire as to where Maseratis normally will come with Pirelli tires. This wheel is the 20 inch sport wheel and is done in black because of the Neto Edizione package. Normally you would have this in an aluminum finish, but this is new for 2019. So we're finally get to see what this bad boy looks like in black. Now with the rear wheel drive package, I'll go over in the drive um, why you have some pros and cons to this. Obviously the con would be, well, it's not all wheel drive. People who might need that all wheel drive, like in the Northern states where they see a lot more severe weather, like snow and ice, they probably would want an all wheel drive. Down here for the market in Florida, we don't necessarily need all wheel drive, which is why we don't normally have Q4 um, Julius, which you can get them in Q4s, but we barely have them in stock because of the fact that we don't really have the market for it there. Guys, it's been a long time since I've been inside of a Stelvio on YouTube. I drive them every day, obviously, but I haven't put one on here um, because of the fact that, you know, most of the time it's the same, um, besides when I put the quadrifolios on. Uh, but now we're in the rear wheel drive Stelvio, new for 2019, um, 2018. It was a smart Q4 system, so it sent power to the wheels as needed within milliseconds. Wasn't all the time, all wheel drive, but you know how it goes. So what I always tell my clients with Alpha is when you do get into these vehicles, there's going to be a few things you're not used to. One, the steering response. This thing moves. Look at, I mean, I don't have to move the steering wheel much in order for me to just jerk this car. I mean, it's made for cornering. It's made to be light on its feet. So when I want it to turn, it's going to turn and it turns this vehicle. It's not uh, a, a heavy machine at all, which brings me to my next point that this does not drive like an SUV. Uh, the Levante drives more like an SUV, the Maserati Levante, than this does for sure. Uh, weight being one of them, different platform. Um, this is a little bit smaller of a vehicle, but this just, I mean, it feels so light. I can just maneuver this as much as I want. <laughs> Not much body roll at all, and you can have fun with it, you know? And then when you get the paddle shifters involved and you're, you're, you're manual and you're just banging through the gears and then you step on the Brembo brakes and stop everything with in a dime, it's just a fun vehicle. Um, but right now I'm on a um, road where, you know, there's not traffic, there's only one way and there's not a lot of traffic. So um, please don't try anything that I was just doing at home. You know, drive safely. Uh, but now I'm getting on an actual road and I'll be able to demonstrate more how fun it is to drive this machine. And now we are in the rear wheel drive option. Uh, so we'll put a little heat on it, see what happens. See if I can get the rear tires to kind of move a little bit. Okay, enough to where the sticker came down and uh, <laughs> and jumped at me. Um, but you still feel really good stability. Um, I couldn't notice a difference as far as the traction. Um, you know, when stepping on it, there I didn't feel anything squirrely. It stayed stayed on the road. Um, you know, and I, and I put it on the floor a little bit and, and just try to see what I can do. Now I'm gonna get on a manual mode here and use these big paddle shifters, Italian paddle shifters. Eight speed transmission. So, I mean, this thing, you got a lot of gears to bang through. And that's amazing. You guys just saw the turning radius of this thing. I'm gonna loop around again. Turns like a dream. I just that I just made a little U-turn just like that. It does not handle like an SUV. I'm telling you guys, it does not feel like it. Anybody who's had the opportunity to drive these, it's amazing. Um, 
it's fun. Now, you still hear a little something from the inline four cylinder, but it is a four cylinder. So four bangers are not gonna make a ton of noise um, like you would want them to. You know, if you want that driving experience sound, loop around real quick again. Buttery smooth shifts. Um, if you want that, that driving experience sound, it really puts you in that field that you're just, you know, taking off in a race car. Obviously, you're gonna have to have either a custom exhaust or you're gonna have to get into the quadrupolio because part of that experience is the sound. Um, some people, it might not be that big of a deal, but it, it's something, you know, so it's something that people do look at and, and you know, they want. But, um, you know me, um, I, I love the noise, but I can do without it if I'm in something like this. So the biggest advantage for having a rear-wheel drive now is saving weight. You're saving about 100 pounds. Another big advantage of having the rear-wheel drive is it saves you $2,000 for just having the rear. The Q4 will be an extra $2,000 if you did something along those range. So you're talking about saving 100 pounds and saving $2,000. So the only thing it doesn't change is the transmission and the engine. You're still getting 280 inline four on the horsepower and you're still getting 306 foot pounds of torque. Um, so nothing too crazy there, but you can now get the rear wheel drive Stelvio. And I mean, hey, saving weight and saving money, that's a win-win for me and my book. So why not? Anyone who opts for the rear wheel drive model of the Stelvio will get a choice of the $1,800 sport package, which includes that aluminum pedal that we saw, the color brake calipers we see. You can start with the 19 inch wheels, but go up to the 20s. You also have the 8.8 .8 inch screen that you can get up to as we saw on this model and the cold weather package with the driver assistance technologies as we saw. Now, unfortunately, you cannot get the rear wheel drive models in a TI or in a Lusso, things like that. You can only get them in the sport and in the baseline trim Stelvios. Um, for example, the baseline trim Stelvio we have right there in black is our second rear wheel drive Stelvio, but we cannot get it in a Sport TI or a Lusso. So the rear wheel drive is only for the Sport Stelvio and for the baseline entry level Stelvio. And this is a great move from Alpha, a lower point of entry as far as price going because you do save on price and extra driving dynamics is always welcome. It's just something to bridge the gap between a few of the models that they have and give you something different. As far as the Neto Edizioni package, that was probably one of the best things that Alpha has done. And with this car only have being out right now for the past 15 months, I mean, it's just one of those things to where subtle changes count the most. And I think you guys would agree with me here. Now let's start right away. What does something like this cost for this Stelvio? You're looking at $45,890 US dollars after your $1,295 destination charge. You're looking to start at $4,195. So you're looking at just over five grand of options. Those options are as included. That sport package that we talked about. You also have the driver assistance packages. You have the Neto Edizione package. And you have the infotainment package as well. Not to confuse it with the upgraded Harman Kardon sound system, that is another $900. Let's look at our standard options for this Stelvio. Eight speed transmission, ZF, 280 horsepower. As it's always been, no power upgrade for the 2019 models. And then this is everything as far as your standard options go. As I said, Apple CarPlay and Android Auto standard with the 2019 models. And there you go, guys. Now your fuel economy is gonna be a little different. For your all-wheel drive, you're gonna look at 22 for the combined city and highway, 24 city, and 28 miles per gallon. So a little bit of a difference between the smart all-wheel drive system and the rear-wheel drive system. So I did want to bring that up because that might, you know, be a deal breaker for some people. And it's a small change, but people will want to know right off the hand. Now, will we see an RWD Alpha Male Stelvio Quadrifolio? Um, time will tell. We'll see. But right now, the Stelvio Quadrifolio only comes in the Smart Q4 all-wheel drive system. So we'll have to wait on that. But hopefully you guys enjoyed the video and the look around of this car. And I want to know, for $45,000... Is this a hell of a uh, option here? Rear wheel drive, 
8.8 .8 inch screen, paddle shifters, pedals, the black package, Rosso interior. I mean, it, it looks phenomenal. What do you guys think about the price point? Since Alpha was able to take away from the price, getting re rid of the um, all wheel drive system and making it a little bit lighter, do you feel like this is a bargain? I wanna know what you guys think. As always, I'm gonna leave my number here for you guys to check out the vehicle. You can go online and check to see what we have it for online, or you can always hit me up, follow the link for the website, give me a call, um, hit me up on Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, whatever kind of social media you guys wanna hit me up on, or just follow see what I'm doing. Also check out the links down in the description for the Patreon. That's always cool to see people donating. I appreciate it. I need to get on a live chat soon for you guys so I can talk to you guys directly all at once. So I'm gonna to try to be doing that, a YouTube live stream, my first one ever. Um, definitely check me out there. And you gotta like the video to help support the channel. I really appreciate you guys and the love. But comment down below, what do you guys think about this Stelvio rear-wheel drive Neto Edizione package? I'm with it, I really love this thing. And you guys could tell from my drive of the video. Give the video a like, Subscribe for more Maserati Alpha Male content from Ron's Rides. And definitely, definitely hit that notification bell so you know when the next Ron's Rides video is coming. I'll talk to you guys soon. You guys be blessed. Enjoy your day. Peace.